Hey guys, how's it going? Thomas here and welcome back to our Lazy Bastard series. So we're going to go ahead and get started with crafting. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to hit save game LB2, which is what we've named the save, and we want to save it. This will make sure if we do screw up, we can kind of go back, reload it, and continue from this point. So what we're going to do here is we want to make sure we have everything we need to do the crafting, you know, in order to up, go ahead and do the Lazy Bastard achievement. So when we do our bowler we're going to use a stone furnace and we have one stone furnace and you're not going to get you don't want to manually craft a stone furnace because you'll you'll waste your um you know basically available crafting how many items you can craft right so we don't want to do that so what you want is you want to go craft as much material as you need now i think we need about 200 iron plates we need about i think 100 iron you know i think we need like 50 copper plates 200 iron plates and then like one wood and then 50 coal or something i'm not sure what the exact number is but i think that's kind of what i've read what people suggest i just said you know what i'm not doing that i'm going to do it my way so this is what i'm recommending craft 100 copper plates 300 iron plates 100 coal you know get yourself some wood and get yourself like 50 stone okay and do that before we get started that way you have everything that you're going to actually need and the stone is going to be so you can make more stone furnaces afterwards so i like to have everything ready so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and do the danger stuff which we're going to go ahead and go in our console commands hit permissions we're going to go back to default here and what we want to do is we want to come in here and we want to enable our crafting see what says craft we want to be able to craft now so we're going to go ahead and re-enable that and let's go ahead and exit this and now what we're going to do is i want to come in here and i want to create one electric pole there's one electric pole that gives us three now we're going to go ahead and we want to create one bowler one steam engine one lab one offshore pump and then 10 science packs and that should be everything as far as what we can craft need to craft so all this stuff takes a lot of spaces up here and it's honestly to me very very stressful because you're sitting here watching this and everything now when this is all said and done we should have somewhere in the neighborhood of about a hundred um, items manually crafted and this should give us everything we need now we have to actually build an assembly machine we also have to build an oil refinery and we have to build an assembly machine too. Everything else we should be able to do for the most part manually ourselves. So keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and um, I'm actually kind of almost nervous to touch or mess with anything here. It's afraid I might screw something up. So we're going to put that there. We'll do our bowler. We're going to do our power. This is what way I intended to set this up. This ain't going to work. Figures, right? We'll remove that all right let's go ahead and get this uh, stuff all crafted here real quick we're just going to finish up the crafting and this is about what we should have we should have uh, 10 of these when it's all said and done so oh shit we screwed up how in the world did we do that we got two electrical poles you see that oh snap 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 time to delete restart restart not good somehow we wound up with two small electric poles that should not have happened i do not know how that happened why did we get two electric poles what did we do wrong something went wrong here um okay all right no we're, we're fine we're fine all right so times two small electric poles so crafting this gives us two electric poles so two times small electric poles oh snap okay i'm, I'm thinking we're getting ready to need to go back reload this do something over but no we are fine it's this is uh two times small electric pulse so by crafting one electric pole it gives us two electrical pulse i'm just like okay let me check here because i know i only clicked it once something's wrong Whew. all right so we need to be very careful here let's go in our permissions before we do have an ultimate okay we need to go in our commands that's wrong all right com commands that's why I, I keep saying permissions but it's technically called commands okay uncheck craft okay now we're in the safe zone so we get this all unchecked okay let's redo this here before i have a mental breakdown i'm already stressing over this stuff like this this is the kind of stuff that stresses me when i play video games um it really does so we'll do that we'll do this drop that in there now we'll click this 
this is why I wanted to build this stuff the way I did do it. Here, we'll drop that in. Now we'll drop this, and we will do our lab. And we'll take our potions and drop into our lab. Okay, there you have it. There is the basic setup for what we want right here. And let's drop 50 of those in there. So the miner should be putting coal straight into the bowler. This is why I wanted it set up like this. And this will do our automation. So we're going to be at 90 up here on our um, automation tab, which is really, really good. Um, but I don't have a mental breakdown first. I think we we'll, we should be doing relatively fine. Now, I'm not sure exact how many numbers we should have as far as where we're going to be at on this, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure we should have about 11 extras. I think the main number for once everything is said and done, it's like 106 or something, and that is late game. So we should be up to about 104 after we craft um, our assembly machine when our automation here is up and running. Um, I'm glad I did not restart it because I was getting ready like, okay, I need to restart. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. But no, we are we're right. We are doing this right. Now, just so you guys know, this is my first attempt at trying to do this achievement. And I've thought about doing this before. And I sit there and thought, well, how can you do this? How do you do that? What do you do? And it's like, you know, just knowing your basic crafting on how do you get your assembly machine is really how do you do it? How do you do this achievement? It is get the assembly machine and craft in all those items up to that point of having an assembly machine. That's really what all this whole achievement is all about. So um, it, it is, it can be very, very intense. It really can be. So this is all working right now. We're going to get our first assembly machine in just a moment. Um, let's see, is this going to work? How's this going to go? And do we have it? Yes. Okay, we got our assembly machine. So now the second step is we want to come in here. Not, I keep going into our settings. It's not settings, it's permissions. Ah, I'm so used to going into settings to change like stuff. So we're going to get craft again here. And we'll just escape on all this. So now we can craft. Now we want to craft one assembly machine. And this should put us up to about 104, if I do believe. So this should craft this up to about 104. Oh, is this going to take us to 104? Okay, so 100. Yep, I was right, 104. So now we are at 104. And now we have our basic setup. Now, when it's all said and done, to complete this achievement, we have to make an assembly machine two. And we also have to make a refinery, okay? That'll put us at 106 on this achievement. And that's what it really takes. So now, since we are where we want to be, let's go ahead and um, we're going to go back to our permissions again. And we'll go ahead and open this up here. We're going to come down here. And let's see, where am I at? I want to go back to the change permissions. Craft, one check, craft again. That's what we want here. All right, crafts unchecked close that all and now we'll place our assembly machine and now we can actually begin automation we'll actually reposition that real quick we'll bring that over here now as far as getting automation going what I want to do is I want to set stone furnaces and we will insert that stone into our stone furnaces and we want to hit our alt that way you guys can see what's going on here and at this point in time I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and hit save so lazy bastard number three save so now we'll go ahead and come back here and we will continue. And there you guys have it. We already got 10 stone furnaces. That's nice. All right, let's go ahead and we'll take and change this. I want to create now. Um, let's see what's in our inventory. I'm afraid to create the wrong thing because I don't want to mess anything up. That's what I'm, I'm nervous about doing. I do want to create maybe put 14 of those in there. And we'll add just a couple more. I would like to get at least a few chests out of here real quick. So there, there you have it, guys. So now we got the basics done. So now let's clear that since we got that in place. We, I don't need any type of armor at this point in time. We're, we're way too early in the game for armor. Um, gears, we don't need gears. Um, I'm trying to figure out where do I want to go from here. And I think at this point is where we have to actually start working on our inserters, our burners, all that good stuff. I try to really make everything so it's more modernized. So now we're moving into the next stage of this. And that is, I think what I wanted, I want my, I want to get me a couple pickaxes here. So let's go ahead and um, do, can we make the steels? Yes, we can. Okay, so I want to make, let's just drop 12 of those in there. This will give me, um, you know, basically the iron sticks. And iron sticks is something that you want because, you know, we want to have some pickaxes. That's really what it comes down to. 
And now what this is all going to come down to is how do we want to go about actually completing this game here? Because now, let's see, what we got that going. We need to, I need to make a miner. And I don't really know, how do we get to a, a additional miners? It's for some reason I cannot do a miner. I can do a miner in my inventory, but how do we actually get the miners? I think it's because it takes three different things here. How do we get additional miners? So we need to work on our electric miners. What is it required for miners? And I'm thinking it require we need to get onto our automation machines and stuff here, which is automation two. Automation two requires one assembly machine, electric circuits, gears, and all that. That's the, it requires four. That's why. So we're going to have to focus on building up to automation two to get that second automation machine in order to be able to build miners or anything because we're not going to be able to actually make electric miners or anything like that in our inventory. Uh, we have to have this second automation machine and everything that's listed right here. We can actually manually craft this ourselves. So that's what we're going to get started here on. Now, as far as pickaxes go, I did say I wanted to make a couple picks here. So I do want to take a few of those and we're going to drop these inside here. But there's one, two, three, four, we'll do five. Okay. Now that'll give us exactly what I want here. I got five pickaxes now. Now we can go around, we can actually cut up some stuff and things like that easy. So that's good. Um, we got automation machines here. We can make a ton of those. That's crafting, but can we make those in the actual crafting machines? And I think the answer to that is going to be no. So let's drop. Oh crap. So we need to take this is going to be. I understand why people get aggravated with doing this because you guys can actually see very quickly at it's just a lot of just sticking stuff in a machine, repeat the process, put in the machine, repeat the process. So very, very much so lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of inventory crafting. So this is going to take some time, guys, but we are getting there. And that is the important thing. We are getting to where we need to be. And I want to go ahead and we will stop this right now. Let's drop this down. Let's cancel this. Um, as far as automation two goes, what do we need for automation two? We need uh, electricity. We need processing here. So we need 30 science packs. So we'll actually have to hit the research on that. And what were we going to need to? What do we need to make actual science packs? I do believe. What was the? What is the crafting requirements? So iron plates and gears. So we'll change this to. Actually, we'll make this to gears. We'll put the iron plates in there, and now we'll make gears. Ah, we're getting there, guys. Don't worry. We will be getting there. So on our, we are on our way officially. It is officially on our way. We'll drop what we don't want right here into this box. I will actually, no, I do not want, we'll, we'll keep some of that stuff there. We'll keep that stuff in our inventory, but we do have our box right there, so we can just dump some of this stuff in. And we got 20 some, let's switch over. How many do we need here? So it's one, we need, what, what was the requirements? It was, I do believe, 30, yes, so we need to make at least a few more. So we'll get that all out of here. Mm. And from here on out, guys, I think most of you guys could probably already see how this achievement actually works um, as far as you know, how do you actually do the Lazy Bastard achievement. This is how you do the Lazy Bastard achievement. It's just a lot of random uh, stick it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Um, it, it's very, very uh, painstakingly slow. Uh, it's, it shifts stuff around. That's that's what you do. And that's the whole concept of what we do in this achievement is just rotate stuff and keep on going. And uh, we got this huge, beautiful base here. And uh, all we have is what we're doing right here right now. So we just keep on doing this. Keep it going. Whoops. Crap. Ah, crap. What did I do? Okay, that's what I did. All right, so we're just going to keep rotating this stuff here, let this stuff craft. This will get ourselves our electronics, and we're going to keep pushing on that. And then we need to get up here so we have Automation 2. Automation 2 requires 80, and that's going to take, yeah, this is going to, 80 science packs. That's going to take some serious, yeah, definitely some serious time to actually get there. But uh, we, we have the inserters there. Do we have, a, we, we can make the electrical miners, all that stuff, but it requires three. 
And that's what's going to get us because if you come over here and we look at the assembly machine, because I didn't understand why I was taking that, but you know, this assembly machine allows you to craft items that require four ingredients. So we're going to have to actually use everything that we have to actually make one of those machines. And what I'm thinking is the assembly machine that we have in front of us, that assembly machine will actually go into the production of this assembly machine. So we'll tear this assembly machine down and we will reuse it in our next build. But right now, we're going to just kind of keep on pushing here and just keep inserting this stuff back and forth. Wouldn't you love to just have one, just 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 one little thing right here? Couldn't we do that? Wouldn't that be just so nice? Honestly, I think we can actually do that. Let's, um, I'm going to try this. Let's see if we can do that. So we can actually create one of these. I'm going to create one. I just want one. That's all I want. We can do that. Okay, so we did we do that? Yes, I think we did. So we can put that there. Yay, we can do that. All right, so let's go back here to our crafting, and we'll put our copper plates as well as our gears back into that machine. That'll be nice. So now we can come over here. Let's actually know the box is right here. We'll just steal some coal, and we'll stick it in there. There we go. So now I won't have to sit here and actually babysit this thing the whole time. We can actually just use an inserter. So that'll make life a little bit easier. Um, instead of shuffling things around <laughs> oh god i'm so happy i did that all righty so we're getting started here and we're actually making things get better things are coming along and uh, this is just guys yeah, how you get started with the lazy bastard achievement we're pretty much where we want to be now what we have to do is we got to get this research completed and we're going to have to start focusing our development on to this next one here which requires uh, circuits, gears, all kinds of stuff and we have to get 80 science packs so building those 80 science packs is going to take some time but we will get it we will meet that goal but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and be sure to tune in in my next video so be sure to do that anyways guys thanks for watching please subscribe peace out YouTube